Hello everyone, this is Brian from Auto Navi. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to change out the DVD drive on the Prius and the Tacoma radios. So both of these radios have their, the same steps to change the DVD drives. So right here I have a previous Prius unit, but you would follow the same steps for Tacomas. Okay, so this is if the DVD drive isn't working or it uh, takes way too long to load up um, the, D the DVD or CD or anything in there. Okay, so I mean the steps are really easy. You just have to be really careful because there's a ribbon that holds the DVD drive to the motherboard. Uh, so you have to be really gentle now you can rip that ribbon. And also when you put it back, you have to make sure that you know you put it in the right way. If not, you could burn off the ribbon. Okay, so in order to start this, on the Prius and the Tacomas, they have uh, two screws on either side right here. They have one here, one here. And uh, some of them do have another screw in the back. Some don't. I don't know. It just depends on the actual radio. Okay. So you would just remove those two screws. Okay. So once you remove both of them. I had already removed one so it could be easier to just take it off okay so once you remove both of those screws all you do is take off the top okay and inside you will see the DVD drive okay DVD drive is held in place by four screws one two three four okay and you can see that the CD is stuck in there okay that's why I'm changing it out all right so remove those four screws And once you remove those screws, the DVD drive comes out. This is where you need to be careful. So you have to remove it and just be really careful not to pull it too hard because you'll see the ribbon is right there. Okay, now at this point, turn it over this way and look at what side is actually showing. Right here, you can see that it's a blue point. Some, um, some of them are the other way around. So if you want, you can take a picture just so that you remember when you actually replace the DVD drive. If you were to put this, if this is the other way around and you put it in with the blue side um, showing, it will burn off this whole ribbon right here. So that's why you need to be careful, okay? And also if you pull it too hard, it's just gonna rip it off and then you will know which way it goes, okay? So on this, on this one, it's actually the blue showing so at this point you can actually I don't know if it's you can see but it's a black tab here you have to pull on either side pull really slowly if you pull too hard it could break and then you just remove the ribbon and you can take out the DVD drive okay all right now on the DVD drive you're gonna see this piece here which is what actually holds it to the radio okay and if you see the actual DVD drive that we send you let me open it here So if you see the DVD drive that we send you, it doesn't have that part, okay? So you just have to remove that part from the, from the DVD drive and switch it onto that one, okay? Okay, so to remove this part, you just have to take these nuts off, okay? And you can do that with just pliers or if you have, um, an actual 
die or something like that to actually take it off. You just turn it. Okay. And then just take them off. And then this whole thing comes off. There you go. Okay. And um, now you actually have to remove these screws right here. It has four of them, which holds this piece together. So you can use the same pliers or same tool you use to take out the nut. And just give them a little spin. And they should loosen up right away. And that's it you could um, if we sent your return label you can send that back to us the damaged uh, DVD drive if now you can request one we can get that back okay and now you would get the new one and then just put these back in make sure these have two sides one longer one shorter make sure the shorter piece is what you put on the actual DVD drive okay if you put the long one this is not gonna be held in place Okay, once they're in, just make sure to give them a little spin with the pliers so it can be really be held in place. If not, they could come loose. Okay, and now you would just put this back on. Make sure you find the DVD opening, this right here, and this will just go on the shortest side. If not, you'll end up blocking the CD drive and you won't be able to put in any DVDs or CDs. Okay. And there you go. Now put the nuts back on. Okay, I'll do this off camera. okay so once you put all four back on again just with the pliers give it a little spin so they can be tight on there don't spin it too hard or you could break them Now comes the hardest part. This would be what would take you maybe the longest to do, or you know, maybe you you might be able to do this pretty quick. It's just to actually put the ribbon back on. Okay. So at this point, I have the radio with the face pointing this way. So you gotta make sure that the opening is pointing that way. And now you would just flip it up make sure this tab is opened if not you're gonna have a really hard time to put it in and also make sure that at this point you know exactly how this ribbon goes whether it goes this way or that way okay on this one it was blue side showing so now you would just grab it and just put it into the slot okay and once it's in there just close the tabs okay and now you gotta push both of them at the same time once it's in there kinda tight so that it doesn't come off and to make sure that it's completely closed okay and that's pretty much it now you can just put it back on okay and that's it now you just put the four screws back on put the lid back on and put the two screws on the side and you are done okay 
make sure to remember to put these four screws back on um, if not the DVD drive will be bouncing around and it'll end up messing up okay so that's pretty much it that's how you would do it like I said this is for a Prius but on the Tacoma it's the exact same steps um, so please make sure to either take a picture or really remember what color is showing on the ribbon before you actually remove it okay if not it will burn off and you know that's pretty much it you would need to buy another ribbon or something like that to actually fix it all right so it's not hard to change this you just have to be careful not to pull it too hard and to make sure that you put it in the right way all right so hopefully you guys found that really helpful once again this is brian from auto navi thanks for watching